Hi, thanks for watching guys, Andy here. Let's do three card tarot now for the sign of Leo. Having a bit of a shuffle here. I can never seem to get the shuffling to come out on camera very well. This is kind of usually where I'll do it. And you, you know, you can't see it there, can you? Maybe there are hidden things to think about, Leo. Who knows? And the first card we've got in this spread for Leo, which I'm doing in June 2019, but which is it's not time sensitive. You could watch this any time you want, really. Best time to watch a reading is when you're drawn to watch it, friends. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so here we've got the chariot. It's Major Arcana. It's all about you. Or is it? That's the question. We'll see where we go with the rest of the cards in this reading. But this is uh, from the Tarot in Wonderland deck. And we've got Alice there trying to play a game of croquet uh, with all the wrong tools, basically. Uh, instead of a croquet, uh, what's it called? Like the bat thing? The, 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 I can't remember, but the hammer thing they use for the, the croquet balls. Uh, she's got an upside down flamingo. And uh, instead of um, a puck or a ball or whatever... She has got a hedgehog there, and uh, I'm sure she's not actually intending to stand on that hedgehog. It's just uh, the way they've drawn it. And uh, it's to show that we need to tread carefully, uh, because the chariot is all about a journey, and uh, it's a spiritual journey. Some of the older readings of this card actually have the chariot painted in, but instead of wheels, uh, there are sphinxes kind of pulling it, and that shows that it's a mystical journey, a spiritual journey. So that's really what we're looking at as this card comes up. What number is it? Number seven. Well, there is a good number, a magical number. Certainly not a number of completion, but we're getting very close to the eight of eternity. So we're on the journey here, guys. Things are moving. This isn't just uh, beginnings. Uh, I be believe you'll be on the journey somewhere, Leo. You'll be aware of this journey, but you'll have been given the wrong tools to do it. Very difficult, but uh, Alice finds a way as she goes through and uh, as this tarot deck goes through. So I'm sure we will find a way. Okay, that's the first card for Leo then. Right, so uh, let's shuffle again and say, tell me some more please about this first card for Leo, which is the chariot. Tell me some more please about the chariot. And we've got the Ten of Wands, and this is showing, really, why uh, we, we feel we've got the wrong tools for the job. We're not actually going to be able to succeed, actually because there's too much work. There's just far too much going on in Guinea Pig's life here. Um, he's got all the wands there, which he could actually cope with if he wanted to. Uh, well, he, I think he actually does want to. And he's also got a barrow full of sweets and good things, which still look a bit on the heavy side. And he could do either one of those things, but he's got to do both of these things. And uh, this has to do with the commitment that Guinea Pig has made some way in his past, uh, which is kind of, at the time wasn't too much work, but which has kind of grown out of all proportion. Now then, is someone leaning on you a bit too much, Leo? And is that why we feel we've got the wrong tools for the job here? Um, could it actually be that the job has just been augmented and added to again and again and again and got more and more difficult? That's the question. But when we get the Ten of Wands here, we're looking at rationalisation, OK? Uh, the Suit of Wands, it's uh, fire signs, really, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So it's very much in your, your, uh, in your group of signs. Leo, okay, very much in your group of signs. Uh, but where is it going? It's it's not really going to get anywhere very far while this is happening. Guinea pigs go in places, but he's, he's having to take his time. So that's the question. Okay, so there's the first card in the spread and a little bit of significance for it as well. So I'm shuffling now and saying, let's have the second card in this spread for Leo, which I'm doing in June of 2019 but which is not time sensitive and which people can watch whenever they want. And uh, what is the second card, please? And it's this one. And it's the lovers. Now, there is a nice thing to come up in the middle of the reading, because this essentially is the heart of the matter. And this takes us into the world of romance, although that, that's not the only thing it's about. That's kind of the most obvious reasoning, uh, uh, obvious meaning behind it but it's number six it's the loves so it's a little step back from the chariot here means means we just need to kind of go back and think about like where were we i would say about a week or two ago fairly recent past here leo um the uh, the queen of hearts is here she never looks very happy does she she really never does and uh, there's a certain amount of anarchy in this card as well i think because of the red and black but that's just my uh, reading of it i i sort of dream of you know the the big changes that we thought we were going to make to the world 
back in the 1970s and 80s before it all got taken over by uh, just like the dullest people on earth seem to be running the planet at the moment. But there we go. Do they really run the planet? Not exactly, guys, because it's us. It's every single human being uh, that ca can actually make a difference. And we are the ones who really do make a difference because all the political stuff that goes on is just them trying to kind of control what goes on in our own lives. Right, bit of politics there. But I'm seeing not only love, but I'm, I'm actually seeing another influence which isn't quite so positive. Uh, I picked that up as politics. I don't suppose that's going to play a massive role in people's, you know, deep down in people's hearts and minds there. Uh, but basically there's something, I would say a bit of politics in your social group that's making love difficult, making the journey difficult to get on with, Leo. Okay, but let's uh, shuffle again and uh, say, tell me some more about number six, the lovers, the middle card of this reading for Leo, please. Tell me some more about that. And we've got the king of pentacles to go with the lovers. Right, now this is great because the king of pentacles knows how to enjoy himself and that is what this uh, this card, this image is all about really. He's got a table spread with good things. Looks to me as if he's been kind of eating and drinking a little bit already. There's two cups of tea there for people who aren't actually present at the, at, at the scene at the moment. And we've got the pentacle there, so uh, that's telling us earth, air, fire and water, under the control of the divine, the universe, the great spirit, whichever way you want to look at it, you could even say God. Now the Mad Hatter is wearing a hat, that's not actually his hat, uh, the reason it's got a price tag on it in the Alice in Wonderland tales is that he makes hats and that hat is for sale, so he's wearing it as an advertisement, that's his shop front, he carries it around with him. Uh, okay, so we're looking at... Um, been a little bit too obvious, been a little bit too open, and uh, maybe pushed a little bit too hard, which we can do where love is involved quite often, Leo. It, it's a real easy thing to do, uh, especially for that, that Leo kind of feeling when you want to be out there getting things done. Okay, but there is a lot of bounty here. The King of Pentacles knows how to enjoy himself and uh, reminds us to get away from any stuck energy, stuck feelings feelings, thoughts and actual situations that are keeping us away from what we need to be doing and are making us maybe go in the wrong direction. Okay, let's have the third card in this spread for the sign of Leo, please, in June 2019. And what have we got? It's the devil. Oh, this one's been coming up, I think, in just about every spread this week so far. Right now, it's not the negative thing that we uh, fear so much when the devil is mentioned. It's more things like the devil is in the detail. That kind of that, That's the one I'm really drawn to for this card in this reading for Leo. Uh, it's the devil is in the detail. Uh, thrash out the details of things because we've got some stuck energy here in lots of ways. But when this card comes up, things are going to get moving. And how they're going to get moving is we're going to stop worrying quite so much about the details. Okay, We've got mad heart and Mad March hair here and that madness thing um, saying that word mad is not very politically correct these days but I'm looking at a wider meaning for it just the general kind of craziness of things uh, and we use that word mad when we don't understand uh, what's coming next or what it means or where a person's head is at anything like that we just use the word mad because we can't see any further into it so can you see any further into this situation at the moment leo probably not but i know there'll be ideas around as to why this isn't going as smoothly as it should and why exactly we've come into this situation so ill-equipped but, you know, life is change and sometimes change happens very rapidly. It's certainly on its way to happening uh, very rapidly when number 15 of the Major Arcana comes up, the devil. And all the cards in this spread so far, and the, the three card main spread, are Major Arcana. So it's you, it's close around you, Leo. It's almost personal. In fact, maybe it is personal. And we've got number seven, the chariot, number six, the lovers, and number 15 the devil and going from sort of seven and six right up to 15 that is a big move so it shows that things are going to be really getting cracking so let me ask for another card just give me some more significance tell me more about the devil in this reading for the sign of leo please a bit more about the devil and what we've got is oh, cards are going all over the place the six of swords has come up right 
So we've got the sheep shopkeeper here. She is, uh, this lady here, she appears uh, as the shopkeeper in the sheep shop and as the Queen of Pentacles card. So I can't help seeing some pentacles energy in uh, in this one, even though that's not what it's about. It's the Six of Swords. Um, so we're looking at air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, also thoughts, uh, decisions quite often when swords come up. And uh, But this is a real journey of the mind. This is a long mystical journey across water. There are no leaves on the trees, Leo. Okay, but there will be. When we see trees like that, we know that it's, in that, it's that time of the cycle where there's nothing going on there. Almost having a sleep and uh, they'll be back to life again before very long. Just as this is a nighttime scene and before very long day will come. It's all cycles. So things are actually going to change. And if you feel you can't get anywhere at all uh, with this, this urge to move forward that you've got, then... Uh, this is the way, guys. Pay attention to your dreams more than anything. Have a bit of paper and a pen next to the bed. Write your dreams down. Makes a huge difference. Now then, guys, I'm not actually sure if we've hit the 13 minutes uh, here because I had a, a sneezing fit and I've had to edit it, so I don't know how long we've been going. But uh, that brings us to the end of the reading. So thanks very much for watching, Leo. Uh, thumbs up, please, if you've enjoyed it. Give me a subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Tap that bell so you don't miss anything because when we get to a 1,000 subscribers, woohoo, it's live mediumship time again if I can't get on there beforehand. I nearly managed it last week, but it didn't quite work out. There we go. But there, there it is, Leo. All the things we haven't quite been managing are kind of symbolised here. This is looking really good. It's just a, such a lovely card to get the lovers. Shows a lot of positivity is actually around. And this is the heart of the matter. It's a central card. It's just that pretty soon things are going to get moving. Okay. And uh, then things will make more sense. Then things will pan out more. Okay. Well, thanks very much. Uh, uh, thanks again for watching, Leo. I'll see you very soon. Peace. Goodbye.